Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty and Nifty Ideas. Uh, you know, on my channel I do a lot of different things, just whatever floats my boat from day to day. Um, some days it might be video recipes, other days it might be DIYs and crafts, and other days it might be uh, rescuing and releasing and some kind of wildlife that I come across. I do live out in the country, so I'm always coming across them. And today I have a special little critter that I found two days ago. And uh, I wanted to share this little booger with you guys. Look at this gorgeous baby. This is a common snapping turtle. And you can see it's a kind of small sized one. The shell is maybe five and a half to six inches long. And uh, how you can tell it's a snapping turtle is one, the eyes are a little bit different than what you find on a normal box turtle or a slider turtle. You have these little black lines that go throughout it, kind of like a, almost like a roulette wheel looking thing. I don't know if you can see the eyes. And you can see the beak. The beak on this one's kind of small. This is a young one. Now you got to be careful of that beak because if this turtle wanted to, she could put a hurting on my fingers. They can reach their heads all the way around their bodies to the back side. So, you can see how long this one's tail is. Gorgeous. Kind of looks like a little dinosaur, doesn't it? But when I found her two days ago, she was loaded with leeches and they had embedded into her shell. They, they were attached pretty good. So I just went ahead and used a tweezer to pluck them all off and get her going. I scrubbed her shell down a little bit to try to get some of the algae off, but the algae actually grows into the shell. So there's not much you can do about that. It's not going to hurt the turtle at all. Now with these snapping turtles, like I said, you got to be careful when you're handling them. I'm handling this one from the back. She's a smaller sized turtle. If it was a larger sized turtle, I would not probably be able to do this because she could reach around and, and get me if she wanted to, especially a larger turtle. <clears throat> Let's see what that was. But she's actually a pretty docile. And uh, so I found a really good spot to release her. I'm not worried about releasing her where I originally found her because I found her in town trying to cross the road and it's just too dangerous in town. This is a good spot out in the country. Um, turtles like this do not need to be uh, relocated within like a one square mile radius <coughs> of where they are found because these turtles um, they motor around a lot. They'll travel really great distances to find new habitats especially if their old one gets overcrowded or if there's no food or it dries up they'll travel miles and miles to get to wherever they, you know, find a new place to live that they like. So, not real worried about that. This is a really great spot. It's way off of the road and plenty of water. These turtles like shallow water. Um, they are good swimmers. They can go pretty deep, but they prefer shallow, kind of murky water like what I have out here in the woods. And uh, she's going to do just fine. There are some little minnows out here that I saw and some tadpoles. Uh, they do eat that. They'll eat uh, any kind of aquatic plants that are down there. She'll come up, uh, eat some of these grasses that are right along the bank. These turtles, they will bask, but when they bask, they usually will not come out and sit on a log like what a slider turtle would do. They'll pretty much stay in the water and then just expose from about here up and let their shells absorb some of that sunshine. Um, another way you can tell that this is a snapping turtle trying to be gentle, I don't want to stress her out, is you can see the plastron is very differently shaped than what a box turtle or a slider turtles would be. <clears throat> so there's a lot of her meat exposed, and that is normal on a turtle like this. So if she gets too stressed, she will release a musk on me. Luckily, she's not doing that. She's a pretty mellow turtle for a snapping turtle. It would be tempting for anybody to want to keep a little turtle like this because they are so cute and this one is docile, but you don't want to do that. These turtles can live to be a hundred years old or more and that's a lot of responsibility. So if you come across one of these, you just want to relocate them, put them someplace safe. Don't think about trying to keep them in a tank. This one will get larger. Uh, they can get about 22 pounds or so, probably even bigger, but uh, depending on what they're eating and how often they're eating. But yeah. Really cute, just kind of wanted to share her with you. And uh, it's time to come along with me on the great release. All right, little ladybug. <laughs> well, let's see if she goes in. Come on, born free. 
free like the wind. You're not going to go in? <laughs> She's not cooperating with me. Come on, baby. You want to go? Come on. Go. She's a little too docile for a snapping turtle. Go, little turtle friend. Go. This is good. It's a good spot. It's a great go. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to submerge her. She'll hold her breath. Come on. Get your breath. There you go. All right. There. There, what you think? There she goes. There she goes. Oh, there's nothing better than rescuing one of God's creatures and being able to release them back into the wild and seeing them go off happy onto her little turtle life. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, if you do see a uh, snapping turtle in the road, you know it's a snapping turtle. I'm going to show you real quick what I do to catch them. I've come across several. That's the smallest one I've come across. Uh, other than a little baby, but, you know, that was nothing. That was a little tiny baby. But I've come across larger ones. And I'm going to go back to my car. And for the larger ones, because they will put a hurting on you, you got to be careful with them. I want to show you real quick what I carry in my car with me all the time. I have a trash can. I think this was $7 from Walmart. I have dowels that I got from Walmart. And how I use this is if I come across a super large snapping turtle in the road, then, and you gotta be really careful because you don't want to get hit trying to save a turtle, but you know, do the best you can. But what you do is you just tip the trash can over the turtle like that. Then you tilt it just a little bit. Let's the camera down. <laughs> got it on my tripod. So you're gonna tilt it. Trap the turtle in there, tilt it just a little bit, start pushing on its butt with the dowel. It will go into the trash can. Once you get him about midway into the trash can, tip it up, and he can't get out of that. He'll try and try, but he will not be able to get out of that trash can. And then you can safely carry it across the road and take him to wherever he needs to go. Another thing I carry with me all the time is one of these. I got this from Walmart for $5. It's just a hot and cold grocery bag. This is really good also for just setting on the ground. Use your dowel to, you know, scoot the turtle into there. Lift it up. They can't get out of that. You can zipper it up most of the way, but leave some air for them to breathe. And then you just carry them across to the other side of the road. <clears throat> so there's that. And also for transporting, I uh, also have a little little Rubbermaid thing that I keep in the car along with some water. And I also have a pet carrier that I use for smaller turtles. So I'm get my trash up here. But anyway, that just kind of shows you some ways that you can uh, get them. If it's a super large snappy turtle, what I had to do one time was I had a tarp in the car and I had to actually in the middle of the highway, stop the traffic, throw the tarp over the turtle, try to grab it by its backside, and drag it across the road. So, yeah, do what you got to do if you love turtles and you want to rescue them. But anyway, real pretty out here. The little snapping turtle's going to love it. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's Saturday. I'm on my way to town. Hopefully I don't come across any more turtles in the road. Seems like every day I do, it's turtle season. Thank you guys for hanging with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.